Hey, hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with another pregnancy update. I can't believe we are at weeks 35 and 36. I'm currently 36 weeks and two, three, three days. <laughs> um, so if you're curious to see how me and baby girl are doing, go ahead and keep watching. So I actually just got back from an OB appointment. So my 36 week appointment was today and they did check me um, for to see to see if I was dilated and what my effacement was like. So um, I am 0% no, I'm 40% effaced, but I have zero dilation. So baby girl is cozy and comfy in there and who knows like I know it doesn't mean everything but as far like as far as how much you're dilated or whatever but you know I just have a feeling that she is totally okay um baking in there a little while longer I think she's not really in a rush to come anytime soon I keep feeling like um we're gonna go overdue with her. So I'm just trying to wrap my head around that and even though I'm 36 weeks and I have one month left, well, I could really have like five weeks left. So um, I have thought about being induced. My doctor has not brought it up to me at all and I thought I would not wanna be induced going into this pregnancy. I thought um, I wouldn't choose that option but I've done some research on it and um, it's not as like I used to think that if you were to get induced then you'd be more likely to have a c-section or you, you could have harder labor and that isn't always the case so I'm open to the idea of being induced if I go over and if my doctor you know brings it up and suggests it then I'm open to the idea but we have not talked about that at all yet so I'm just going with the flow and uh, just enjoying the last month of pregnancy or the last four to five weeks of pregnancy, being able to feel her move and bond with her while she is inside my belly. So it's all good. As far as symptoms go though, um, I am still definitely feeling a lot of the swelling side effects. Um, so my fingers are still numb, all that kind of stuff. Like, it's it's such a weird feeling. Um, and my feet swell up pretty, ugh, like, pretty dramatically by the end of the day. But um, my doctor, like I said, is still not worried about it. He checked me again today. My blood pressure was perfect. Um, and he's, he's not worried about it. So just going to have to keep dealing with the symptoms of swelling. Um, and I am definitely feeling heavier when I go for walks. I have to walk really slow, but I do enjoy walks. I always feel pretty good after I go for a walk. Um, I'm still doing yoga, but I'm moving even slower and slower and less and less with yoga, but I'm still taking time every day to do it and to make sure I'm breathing and just really connecting with my breath and my body. And that helps so much. Another symptom I've had is, and I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in another like in the past pregnancy update, but I have no appetite some days and I just have to kind of force myself to eat something. Like I really don't want food and um, it's just like I have no interest in it. It's so weird and sometimes I'll not want food all day and then I'll get hungry at night, but really it's just, it's crazy how I'm just not that hungry. Um, and I, we did get some like little protein um, shakes from Costco and I've been trying to drink those whenever I have a day where I just don't want to eat anything. I have no interest. Um, so at least I'm getting some protein in. Sorry, I had to take care of my dog. He was throwing a little bit of a fit because there was another dog outside. Anyway, sorry if you can hear him <laughs> whining a little bit in the background. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh. So um, I 
don't be, because I don't really have an appetite. I obviously don't really have a lot of cravings, um, other than toast still. I think I've craved that my whole pregnancy and, um, I, I still am craving salad. So I'm loving that I'm craving salad. <laughs> um, but honestly, like I really don't have a big appetite. So it's, it's been interesting. <laughs> and of course I'm out of breath because that is just pregnancy. Always out of breath. So I'm trying to think of any other symptoms I've had. Um, I'm still um, getting like the lightning crotch pain <laughs> where when I stand up, I'll be like, Ugh. I'll feel like a stabbing pain there. Um, but that doesn't happen very often. Um, I'm sleeping pretty good. Um, once I get comfortable, I sleep pretty well. I do wake up because my fingers hurt and I wake up because I have to pee and all that stuff. But um, other than that, I'm sleeping pretty well. So in the past couple weeks, we have made so much progress on the nursery and just getting everything ready for baby. Um, we are so ready for her as far as like everything that we need for a baby. Um, the only thing really that I need is I'm still waiting on my pump to come through insurance. So that's pretty much it. You guys like we have everything and it feels so good to just feel ready for her. Um, and if you watch my last vlog, I started um, drinking red raspberry tea and just prepping myself um, for labor. And um, I'm also just trying to prep myself for postpartum and just kind of research and figure out everything I need to know um, to prep for that, um, like the, that month or however long it takes me to recover. Just, um, yeah, I mean, I really hadn't thought too much about postpartum care until I've watched other vloggers here who've recently had babies like um, Ayla and Caleb. If you guys are familiar with their channel, they just had a baby girl um, and she showed a little bit of what she was doing for postpartum care. So um, I've started researching and just um, got started gathering some things and prepping for that time so that it goes as smooth as possible so I can really just focus on me and baby recovering and bonding and our little family enjoying the first you know few weeks together so if you guys have any tips of things i should um add to my list of things i can do to prep for postpartum care let me know if you've had a baby and maybe there was something you wish someone <laughs> like would have told you before that time period let me know in the comments below i've also been trying to stay stocked up on certain household things, food, uh, things we just go through a lot um, so that if we don't want to go out, we don't have to, we don't need to rely on anyone to get anything for us. We can just, you know, enjoy being at home if we want to be at home. Of course, once the baby comes, if we want to, um, that's what I mean, that time period, if we want to just be able to be at home and not worry about like, oh, we need toilet paper, um, then we will, we don't need to worry about that because we're plenty like we're well stocked up. So over the next couple weeks, I will be packing my hospital bag and filming a nursery tour. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, we don't have a name, so I still, like we don't have a finalized name, so we won't be doing a name reveal video or anything like that. We'll probably just announce her name when she's here and we've decided and it's written on her birth certificate. So, um, yeah, I'm really trying, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but that's pretty much it for this update. You guys, um, I, oh, I was going to say, if you aren't already following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me there because we do plan to film the birth, but we'll be updating you in the moment over on Instagram and my Twitter so that as soon as this little chick wants to make her big debut, um, you guys will be the first to know over there. So that is it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. 
If you are new here, I would love to have you subscribe um, and hit the bell notification so that you guys can see when the nursery tour goes live and all that good stuff because there's some fun videos coming up. So anyway, thanks again and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!